Hello and welcome to another weekly roundup. As the Winter Olympics kicks off in Beijing with 49 million gallons of water's worth of artificial snow, VizRT is working with BBC Sport on a virtual set graphics ecosystem to cover the games. Having already had some practice with the Euros and the Tokyo Olympics, the virtual studio environment promises easy operator control and an immersive experience for those tuning in from home. With it being the season for perfect matches, how about the meeting of entertainment technology and scientific research? University College London has constructed Pearl, a 4,000 metre squared person environment activity research lab that is able to simulate live events like a railway station or town square. The floor's type of material can be changed as well as the lighting, scent and most importantly sound, which has been achieved by Elacoustics Elisa Immersive Hyperreal Sound System, supplied by production and installation company Adlib and designed by Arup. Klaus Dauborn has been appointed product manager of German pro audio company Holoplot, having previously worked at Powersoft and Labgruppen. Ayrton has appointed Vijay Tigeraju as the sales manager for APAC, bringing with him over 10 years of industry experience. Craig Thompson has joined Redal as the executive director of their customer success department, where he looks forward to providing what he says will be a seamless experience. Adam Hall has also appointed Bangkok-based MI Engineering as its exclusive distributor for Thailand. Now, it wouldn't be a weekly roundup without an update on ISE. The trade show has collaborated with IoT Solutions World Congress, which takes place at the same time at the Fira de Barcelona. The partnership aims to provide a crossroads between two sets of disruptive technologies and bring experts working on AI, digital twins and IoT, with attendees of both shows given access to the two exhibition areas. Roger Bow, director of IoT SWC, noted the potential for the AV industry if AI and IoT were utilised. The James Webb Space Telescope was sent into orbit recently after more than two decades of careful preparation, and capturing the moment was a pair of Marshall Electronics miniature HD cameras installed inside the Ariane 5 launch bay. Images from the lightweight cameras were then beamed back to a worldwide audience in real time. That brings me on to products. Hot on the heels of the hybrid One Active loudspeaker launch, Von Audio has extended its credentials as an audio developer for meeting rooms and collaborative spaces with the introduction of the Integrato IGS4 passive subwoofer. Intended for use in architectural lighting scenarios, Adam Hall Group's Zenit W600i is an IP67 certified version of the original model, boasting 21,000 lumens. Year of the Tiger it may be, but Californian brand Mayer Sound has unveiled a different Big Cat as its flagship linear line array solution. Showing the same compact footprint of Lion, Panther promises an acoustic signature closely resembling the much larger and heavier Leo line array. The Panther family consists of three designs offering varying horizontal coverage patterns. Capable of producing a maximum peak output of over 150 dB, the dual 12-inch enclosures include newly designed long throw horns and a low-frequency port. Panther's feature set is further enhanced with the inclusion of a four-channel Class D amplifier and a dual analog and Milan AVB network input module. Catch our final edition of On The Road Again on Monday, where we ask our Italian manufacturers what they couldn't get through the pandemic without. No surprise, Pasta does get a mention. You can also read the latest edition of Worship AVL right now. That's all for this week. Take care and have a good weekend.